What's up, guys? Polar Doctor back again. Another funny shirt. Something like that. All right, guys. Today we're working on a another 420 Rancher. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video. I'm going to do a, a fuel pump replacement in it. Uh, these are pretty easy to do, and uh, it only has one bolt to uh, take out. And I'm going to show you how to run through it here pretty quick. These are about the only tools you'll need a ratchet 10 millimeter uh screwdriver sometimes to unhook those um hoses that are on there and a pair of needle nose also to unhook the hoses and the sometimes you need that to pull the electrical wire off this thing's a little bit low on juice so i've got the uh charger on it here charging it up all right so we'll run through this real quick how to pull this thing off uh pull your side plastic piece off here first and that will give you access to the to the pump um actually hold on just a second and i'll show you what this thing's doing this is a pretty easy one here i had these sometimes where the pump just be weak in them uh pressure low and it's still not run um i've actually had them where they still cut on and sh not shoot any um any gas out of the fuel line tying into the fuel injector there if you need to need to check that it's up under up under this cover here the fuel line hooks to the top of the in hooks to the top of the injector right here um but in this case the problem here is this thing doesn't make any noise the pump doesn't even run when you um kick the switch on so i'm gonna turn the switch on here and you can hear it so you're not getting nothing you actually get some noise from here off the uh off the injector and you can also hear the um the actual relay fuel pump relays back here in the back you can hear it click as well so more than likely this is what the problem is you're just not getting any fuel pressure this thing will just turn over and over and over and, and will not start so what we're going to do first is um uh, pull this pump off like i said it's very simple let's try to get some light in here so you can see it you're trying to get to this 10 millimeter bolt but to start off with we're not going to do that with the bolt first we're gonna go ahead and pull these hoses off and um this this pump this uh bike does have a pet cock on it uh it does not have a knob on it like some of them do so we're gonna turn this thing to off keep that uh fuel line from flooding us this is the fuel line actually from that pet cock from the tank so it's gonna have a little bit of gas in it a little bit pours out there um the other one here is a vent line it has a it actually has a clamp on it but the um clamp's not very tight so we'll see if i can get it to slide up i may end up having to use my screwdriver to pry up on it yep it'll pry right up there so those are your vent line your supply line this is the pressure line and to get it off you can see that green little uh connector in there I may end up having to unbolt this thing because I can't get it to twist around. What you're, ideally what you want to do is catch both sides of that green connector and squeeze those in, which is where your needle nose pliers come into play. Squeeze both of those in at the same time and then the connector will slide up. Um, I'm not real sure I'm going to be able to do that here live on camera. I'm not sure what that's going to look like on the uh, big screen, but we'll see in a little while. All right, so you squeeze both of those connectors in and wiggle this thing up. Just like that. Pull your supply line off. And that leaves the only thing left is the uh, actual power wire for it. And it unsnaps. So now, take your... Uh, get the camera back out of there. Hope y'all can see that. Get, you, get your uh, ratchet... I'm going to use this um, uh, electric one here because it'll make it a whole lot easier. Pry back on this plastic piece on the side so you can get your ratchet right in there on that 10 millimeter bolt. Run it off. Grab the bolt. And just pick straight up on this thing. It's got a uh, like a rubber grommet in the bottom. It kind of holds it in. And also be careful if we hadn't already made a big enough mess with the fuel. This thing is full of fuel. So uh, put that over in your drain. 
drain bin. And actually the way this thing works is to keep from having a uh, pump in the tank, it has a pump in this cup here. This cup's always full of, full of fuel and the pump stays, stays submerged in it. And then to put the thing back on, this is actually an aftermarket pump. The um, I've used some uh, some OEM ones before, and they weren't very high as far as price goes. But uh, I don't know if it's COVID or what the deal is, but they have went way up in price. So uh, talked to the owner about it, and he just wants to go with an aftermarket one, which is about half, maybe a little bit less than half the price of a uh, of an OEM one. So. That's what we did. Picked that up off of eBay. I'll put a try to put a link to it in my uh, in the description. Um, all right, guys. Let me see if I can get. The only problem with this, it's ready to go in, with exception of this, the um, mounting hole. You see, this one here's got a sleeve in it and a rubber grommet. So we got to pull both of those off. All right. So here we go. Take your. Uh, uh, this is my rivet tool here. You can use a screwdriver, pry that sleeve out. Now you're wanting to get the rubber grommet out. So slide it around. Just like that. Get your screwdriver back out. And pry it on out just like that. And now we just need to stick this back into the new one. Same operation as the removal. Press it in there, like that. One more time should go. There you go. Put your sleeve back in. All right, now we're ready to go. So, same operation as before. Just uh, slide it in that rubber grommet down there in the bottom. You can see the grommet down there. Slide it in there. And there's also another little hole right beside it that you got to get the two, there's two pins on the bottom here that have to line up. One other thing I forgot to take off is this rubber, I mean, is this a um, quick connect clip as well as this little rubber sleeve. I don't know really what this rubber sleeve does. And I don't even know if it'll come off here. It doesn't appear to. So we're not gonna be able to pull that off because it won't come over that sleeve. So I don't even know what it does, but it doesn't seem like it does anything to me. So we're gonna put this uh, green clip back on here. Snap it on like, like that. Uh, go ahead and stick your bolt back in. Just so you got it halfway stabilized in there while you're trying to hook all these hoses back up. Get the uh, ratchet back up in there. This is a little different than some of my videos. Most of the time you're not watching me do this uh, step by step by step. You can cut the camera off, but in this case, it's not going to take long, so I'll, I'll keep it running. All right. So there that is. Get the socket off of there because it didn't come off. There we go. All right. Start off with, we're going to plug the power wire in. Snaps down in the hole here. Uh, next we will do the get these other hoses out of the way here we'll do the supply line a lot of times it works better if you put that green connector in here first but we'll see if we can push it down on and get it to work like it sits there there you go it snapped in our other two holes here are for the line off of the tank and the vent line, pull both of the caps off a bit. So the vent line is the hose here with the clip on it. And then the line from the tank goes on last. Press it all the way down. I'm probably gonna stick me a clamp on that because it didn't have one before. Go ahead and cut fuel on. We'll cut it on reserve here because I'm not 100% sure how much fuel's in this thing. Now, the moment of truth. If this battery's charged up enough, this thing should crank up. So, listen for the pump.
it's pumping. So a lot of times it's good to let it cycle a couple times because it hadn't had any fuel through the line in a little while because it hadn't been running in a while. So it'll get you um, injector pressurized back up and get it ready to go. So we'll cycle that a few times and hit the start button and see if it fires up. Not 100% sure we've got enough juice in this battery. Yeah, that thing's pretty weak. Let me hook this other battery charger up and uh, we'll give it a shot with it. All right, guys, got the uh, big charger hooked up to it now. 40 amp, we'll see if it'll bust it off. All right, let's see what it'll do now. There you go fires right up so uh that's what the problem is it was the uh the pump all along uh, which is like i said pretty obvious because the thing wouldn't even make any noise so um uh, pretty much it for this one i do have to put a um carburetor into a 350 rancher here in a little bit i might put a make a video of that too it shouldn't be too long as well so thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe have a good day